everybody, my name is Coach Shane and welcome to Easy English Expressions. Come on, let's master English. Hello everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression, the podcast. Oh, today we have a great idiom, yep, yeah, it's about cows. Oh, by the way, did you see my new newsletter? Yeah, I got attacked by a cow. I'm serious. Yeah, a cow attacked me. Uh, the story is in my newsletter. If you missed my newsletter, sign up. Let's master English.com. It's free. All right. Today's expression is till the cows come home. Till the cows come home. What? So the first word till apostrophe T I L. Some people spell it T I L L. But the actual word is until, U-N-T-I-L, until the cows come home. So this expression actually is about uh, life on a farm, right? So you can imagine you're at a farm and the farm has several cows and during the daytime you let the cows go out so they can eat grass and walk around and enjoy life. Now, the problem is if you want milk, you want the cows to come home so that you can milk them. But it's not easy bringing cows home unless you're a cowboy or maybe if you have a dog. But if you're not a cowboy and you don't have a dog, you just have to wait. You have to wait until the cows come home. And that can be a long time because the cows do not have clocks and they do not have schedules. So until the cows come home, if you have to wait until the cows come home, that means you have to wait for a really, really, really long time. So this is what it actually means, but how do we use it in daily English? Check out the dialogue. Do I look fat in these jeans? No. You look perfect. I know you're lying to me. Uh, you can argue till the cows come home, but I'm not going to change my words. <gasps> Did you just call me a cow? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a husband and a wife. And, you know, ladies, never ask this question of your husband because I'm, I'm serious. You will always look good. You will always look good. So if you ask the question, do I look fat in these jeans or do I look fat in this dress? Uh, I, I'm guessing 90% of the husbands will look at you and say, "Ooh, no, you look good. You look perfect. The way you see yourself and the way we, us husbands, see you could be very, very different. So anyway, that's the situation. The wife says, do I look fat in these jeans? And the husband says, no, you look perfect. And the wife says, I know you're lying to me. And here's our expression. The husband says, you can argue till the cows come home. You can argue forever. You can argue on and on and on forever until whenever, until the cows come home. You can keep arguing, but I'm not going to change my words. And then, of course, the wife she misunderstands and she says, did you just call me a cow? <laughs> no, no, no. So this is a great expression. So let's see some other examples. Do you have any debt? D-E-B-T. Maybe you have a credit card debt. Maybe you have a house mortgage. Maybe you have a car payment that you have to make. You could say, oh, I'll be paying my debt Till the cows come home. I'll be paying my debt forever for a really, really, really for, a, for a really, really, really long time. Do you remember uh, President Donald Trump and he promised to build a wall? Well, they built some of it, but some people are still waiting for more wall. And we could say, uh, you can wait till the cows come home. It's going to take a long, 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 long time, if ever, for them to build a wall. This is the idea of the expression, till the cows come home. 
Are you waiting for something and waiting and waiting? Maybe you're waiting to master English. You're trying right now. You're doing great. And uh, don't worry. You do not have to wait till the cows come home. Seriously, you don't. Just join me. <laughs> Get serious about your English lessons. Join my DDM which is all about listening. Join my Perf, which is all about speaking. And if you're in China, we've got a brand new English camp. The first camp is already closed. We finished that. Uh, we didn't even start, uh, but it's we have too many members. Not too many. We have a full house. Uh, but our second camp is coming too. So yeah, if you're interested in the, in the Chinese English camp, then go to my Weibo page and you can find it there. Or send me an email, contact at letsmasterenglish.com. And I'll give you more information. Don't worry. I'll give you. The, you do not have to wait long. You do not have to wait till the cows come home. We will answer you usually within 24 hours. I guess the cows will already be home. But anyway, that's the idea. It's a great idiom. Till the cows come home. Until the cows come home. To wait for a really, 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 really long time. To have to do something for a really, really, really long time. This is the idea of the expression. Check out the dialogue two more times, and together, let's master English. Do I look fat in these jeans? No, you look perfect. I know you're lying to me. Uh, you can argue till the cows come home, but I'm not going to change my words. <gasps> Did you just call me a cow? <laughs> Do I look fat? Fat in these jeans? No, you look perfect. I know you're lying to me. Uh, you can argue till the cows come home, but I'm not going to change my words. <gasps> Did you just call me a cow?